When the school nurse came back, that might have been our last chance to get answers from Grady. And I didn't even get to question him about Maddie. Well, he did drop that weird bomb about Eli being some kind of fraud. What do you think that was about? Guys, Grady wasn't lying about Eli. What? Look, as you guys know, I've been an elite mega fan forever. She's broken down and dissected every one of their songs over and over. And I always thought I detected a mysterious frequency in their music, but I just thought it was their thing. Anyways, listen to this. Sounds awesome. I love it worked. What are we looking at? It worked in music production software. I can filter it and separate the tracks. Now let me isolate the frequency spike. Now listen again. Ugh, sounds terrible. Okay. Now, listen again. Totally better. Whoa, crazy whoa. It's the biggest OMGZs in the history of OMGZs. There's a hidden sound enhancement in Elite's music. An ultrasound tone was laid in as a secret track. Okay, I may be smart, but when it comes to music, you lost me. Basically, Eli's music and his whole sound isn't great. It's barely even average, but he found a way to make us think it's good. I can't believe I didn't find the secret tone before. I mean, I did find it, but I told myself that it was just a part of Eli's genius. Turns out it's a part of his evil genius. My love for Elite clouded my judgment. <sighs> Not that I'm saying that's true for you and Maddie. I found something! What do you have? It's a video of Eli in high school before Elite was even formed! Ooh. Welcome to my grandma's garage science. My latest project is in the field of subliminal sound enhancement using sound frequencies to improve your listening experience. That's Eli? Looks like he's always been into this kind of thing, even back in his grandma's garage. So now that we know Eli's found a way to change how his music sounds, and that 3T minerals are used in making electronic devices, Eli could be building his own equipment using the stolen 3Ts, meaning we have a new suspect. But he's always on stage during the concerts, which is right where Brian and I will be. We can shadow Eli. Adrienne Ember and I will be at the warehouse by the docks. We're gonna get some answers tonight. You might want to answer that. It's Kyle. Whoa. Hi. We still catching a movie when you get off work? For sure. Super Agent the Owl by day. Super half of Mikhail by night. <laughs> Mikhail, I like that. All right, let's focus, shall we? <sighs> the owl seems more cranky tonight. I agree. She is kind of extra wiggy. But I mean, it's a big night for her. It's her first assignment in charge as the owl. Uh, guys, we can still hear you. I thought you muted. Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> um, moving on. Cam, Ember. I never congratulated you guys on getting into the Destination Mars Camp during summer break. You gotta be psyched. Super psyched. Four straight days right here at Space Inc. Simulating a future space station journey and eventual colonization on Mars. I haven't been this excited since I cross-pollinated our wheat crops and doubled its yield. Take that, GMOs. You guys, we have an unidentified figure entering the building. All right, this could be it. Remember the plan. When our uninvited guest enters the East Corridor, we surround him and move in. Wait for my command. Affirmative. We're with you, Al. You heard the quail. It's critical to the mission we capture the intruder. I've got him on infrared as well. What I can tell you is whoever it is, they're sweating. In this case, it's likely due to nerves, which makes sense because they're about to go to jail. <laughs> We lost picture. What? Why? Not sure. Bry's working on it. I'm rerouting the network paths. They must have timed out. Talk to me. We're back. We have a visual. The intruder is entering sector three. We move now. But the intruder's not in position. Shouldn't we wait? I agree. Hey, I know I'm new here, but I feel like we should stick with the plan. He could be jamming the signal. 
We can't afford to lose visual on him again. You heard me. Move in. We have to take him. Cousin Misha, ask this last one what's the power. He's heading for the exit! Go! A really disgusting idea. Ugh. Guys, it's Lazarus' trash. If we dig through it, we could find some clues. Michaela, I never would have thought of you as the dig through garbage type. Bet. I just wish you had given me a chance to change out of my new heels. They're Mew Mew. At least they were. Look what I found. Who would want to throw these away? I me. would. They're not really my style. Haters. Hey, Cam. Can we use this for a water-powered car? I was kind of hoping that we jumped off that water-powered car cliff. No way. I will take Justin down at the tech fair. Nice find, Adri. Except it's a carburetor. They used to be a big part of internal combustion engines, but have been replaced in the car industry by fuel injectors. You have no idea what she's talking about, do you? No, I just want to go home and take a hot bubbly bath with it. Hey guys, check it out. It's an issue of Cat Fancy Magazine addressed to a Mr. Carson Lazarus. She must get that a lot. Lazarus has a cat. Let's find out. Camera device. Or as I like to call it, Cameron's cat camera to follow a cat around the house device. You know, I think I'm learning the drill. Killer with inventions, bad with names. Well, it works. I routed it through the Innovate server so we could all watch it through our tablets. <clears throat> and Addison. Why did you make a cat cam? I was curious what my sister's kitty Helix the cat did while I was at school all day. And there's Lazarus. Who's hungry? Oh, did I tell you guys? My abuela hired a new chef. That's awesome. Now I'll be able to dedicate more time to Cafe Adam's newest signature blended drink. The... Churachino! I was hoping for some applause. Pity applause? <gasps> oh no! Michaela, you have your fur you study session with Kyle! Uh... You know what? We're in the middle of a stakeout, and the clock is ticking on Retro's demand, so I think I'm just gonna cancel. No, you're not. Per the Quail's request, we're under strict orders to help you maintain your social cover as a normal teenager. Okay, but given the circumstances, I think the Quail would agree. Ba -ba -ba -ba. No cancellations. You can't flake. You need to blend in. Like my Churro Chino. Get it? Blend in? Still nothing? I have no idea what to say to Kyle. I'm good with smart talk, not small talk. You're going to do fine, and I'll be there to help you. You take Addison, and Brian and I will watch the cat cam on our tablet, and we'll let you know if anything exciting happens. Hey, uh, Devin, um, I don't have you down here for an audition. Because I'm not. I'm just doing a favor for Brie and Pam. I got these color filters for your light show. Trust me, you'll like it. Do we have a choice? Nope. Uh, it's Brian Cam. She does not care. Yeah, she still calls me Lyle. Yeah. Anyway, good luck. Yo, Camsterdam. Congrats on, if you're lucky, second place. <laughs> well, you know what else is number two, Justin? Yeah, let's not go there. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, it's working. He's in there my one shot to make an impression on Simon Temple. What if he doesn't like what I've created? Are you kidding? Simon's gonna flip when he sees how insanely talented you are. Plus, with my EDM beats, we're gonna crush it. Circuit beats, you're up. <sighs> Let's do this. Go, girls! Yeah! Yeah! Mix it up, we do it 
One.